Yellowstone volcano, how the USGS spotted a huge earthquake in the largest event ever. This is explained by USGS. Today's article on uh, Express UK by Callum Hoare. The United States Geological Survey, USGS, revealed how they spotted a magnitude 6.1 earthquake below the Norris Geyser area of Yellowstone National Park and they did this during a Facebook live broadcast. The Yellowstone supervolcano erupted three times in history as we know, 2.1 million years ago, 1.2 million years ago, and 640,000 years ago, and a smaller eruption about 70,000 years ago. And experts have previously showed, should an earthquake occur, it could take less than two weeks before a devastating reaction triggers the supervolcano. That's a short time, don't you think? Well, USGS Chief Seismologist Jamie Farrell explained how experts in the U.S. agency were left baffled by biting their nails ever over the 6.1 magnitude earthquake. That's pretty big. He detailed how the natural phenomenon was the biggest he had ever seen in Yellowstone. He said the, uh, in 2018, we have had a couple of earthquakes in Yellowstone area larger than magnitude 6. In 1975, we had a 6.1 near the Norris Geyser area. It's the largest event that has happened inside the park and within the caldera, he said. Farrell went on to explain how this caused several landslides and threatened the safety of tourists. And he continued the effects were seen in the park. There was a lot of rockfall, and uh, they blocked the road. The rockfall blocked the roads, of course. There were changes to the hydrothermal systems, the geothermal air areas, you know, in meaning, of course, the uh, geysers. And uh, there were significant damage to buildings, number of landslides. Um, it was revealed that in 2015, how there was, how there is now an increased risk of a supervolcano erupting by the end of the century. This is what they explained back three years ago. So um, here they have the embedded video, you can see the map, how they explain where they found them. And then Dr. Michio Kaku uh, quite a few times has said that uh, Yellowstone has uh, Godzilla underneath it. <laughs> and uh, it's a sleeping giant waiting, waiting to awake. So Michio Kaku, renowned professor of uh, physics, at, uh, he's a cosmologist at City College in New York, described the caldera as the sleeping Godzilla. And he said in January, forget the image of Yogi Bear representing Yellowstone, we're, taking, uh, we're talking about the sleeping Godzilla underneath Yellowstone. And if it erupts in a maximum eruption of category eight, it will literally tear the guts out of the United States. Instead of having 50 states, he said we would be left with perhaps 30. The report looked at a category seven, and it is more likely once every thousand years rather than once every million years. So once every thousand, that's quite often. That means that in every century, there's a 10% chance that somewhere on the planet, there could be a super volcanic category seven eruption. Dr. Michio Kaku reminded viewers there would be plenty of time to evacuate. He says Category 7 would be many times the size of Mount St. Helens, the eruption that happened in uh, 1980, and it's enough to cause widespread destruction across the state, but not enough to destroy the U.S. So uh, still, it's something that we have to take very seriously. Unlike a meteor from outer space, where you get no warning whatsoever, we get warnings from this. So if you see moves like Pompeii, movies like Pompeii, you know that there are days, in fact, weeks of eruptions going up, building up, uh, quake swarms, degassing, uh, CO2, uh, SO2, rumbling noises underneath the pockets of lava. So there would be enough time, perhaps several weeks, to begin evacuations if and when such an unlikely event were to take place. If you'd like to join me on my 
Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.